Hi, I'm Danielle. How may I help you? You look familiar. Have we met before? Oh, right. At the party in London. I remember now. Well, how are you? Yeah, it's been a crazy year for me, too. Business is booming. Yeah, everybody's booking travel for the holidays. Is that why you're here today? Sure, I'd love to help you book a trip to South America. Any specific city or country in mind? Rio de Janeiro. That's a beautiful city. Sure, you can make a special request. That's what I'm here for. <laughs> Don't worry, I've had a number of odd requests. I bet you won't surprise me. What's your request? Oh, okay. So if I'm understanding you correctly, you want to travel to Rio de Janeiro, but you don't want people to know that you're traveling there? Any specific people in mind? No, you're right, it's none of my business. Well, the problem is, is that if you fly into Rio de Janeiro, your name will be as one of the passengers on the manifest. So conceivably, someone could look up and see that you've traveled there. I'm taking it you want a one-way trip? Okay, well, there's two options I think may work for you. One is that you can take several flights to and from different countries in South America, eventually landing in Rio de Janeiro. Now again, someone would be able to look up the manifest and see that you were a passenger on all those flights. I understand. The second option is to take a cruise. See, a cruise to South America often lasts many weeks, and lands in several different ports. We can ensure that one of the ports is Rio de Janeiro. That way, if someone looked up your name, they would see you as a passenger on the cruise, but not necessarily think that you were going on the cruise to, to actually land in a certain port, just to visit them. Does that make sense? So you'd still be traveling to Rio de Janeiro, and you could get off the ship and land there if you want and stay there, but someone wouldn't necessarily know that you did that. Would that work for you? Absolutely. Everything you say here will be confidential. Your name will show up on the cruise manifest, but that's the only place it will show up. Yes. I'm the only person here in the travel agency. It's my own office, so I won't share my records with anyone. You can trust me. It sounds like you're in some trouble, and I want to help you. Okay. So let's find you that cruise. I'll just bring up my website, and we'll find one that works for you. Okay, so first we'll do a search for South American cruises. And I'm assuming you want to leave as soon as possible. Okay, so we'll make sure that we choose October. Let's see what we have. Okay, so we found a couple of cruises here. I'll sort them by departure date so that we can find the ones that leave as soon as possible. Now, you most likely don't want these Galapagos cruises because I know they don't go to Rio de Janeiro. What you're looking for is the South American Coastal. Here's one here, 19 days long. Don't see Rio de Janeiro in the port. So let's continue looking.
okay, I see one here, a 16-day South American coastal, and Rio de Janeiro is one of the ports. Let's make sure that we go back to that one. And as I'm scrolling through, I'm just looking at the port cities. Not seeing any on that page. And this last page. Hmm. Not seeing anything, so I think that's the only cruise. Let's go back to that one that we found previously. Okay, this one. Let's view some details about this cruise. So as you can see, it starts off in San Antonio, Chile. So we can get you a flight there. Then it goes around South America to various ports. And as it continues on the Atlantic Ocean side, it ends in Rio de Janeiro. Does that sound good to you? Yes. So October 18th is the day it leaves, departing at 5 p.m. And you should get to Rio de Janeiro by November 3rd at 7 a.m. Great. So in terms of the deck plans, I can show you a little bit about what this cruise looks like. So the first, mm -hmm, yep, that's called the dolphin deck. And the bottom decks are going to house sleep, mostly have staterooms. So the cheapest option is going to be interior staterooms, like this one here. They're very comfy. They are small, but a solo traveler, I think you'll really enjoy it. They can push the beds together into one size queen bed. Or you can do an ocean view if you'd rather have a window. Sure, so there's also the main deck, deck number two. This one also has a variety of staterooms, interiors, as well as ocean views. Mm -hmm. Yep, they all have showers. If we move up to deck three, the lower promenade deck, these are also full of staterooms, along with an atrium. Yep, there is laundry facilities. And then just more staterooms. So as you go higher and higher, you'll start to see more activities and more options. Deck four, the promenade deck, has the main stage theater. It has a photo gallery, art gallery. You'll also see that the atrium goes through three different floors, including this one. There's wine tastings, there's shops, they have cooking demonstrations, there's a variety of restaurants, including the grill. Mm -hmm. So this will be a popular floor to be on. And then if we move up to the upper promenade, you'll also see that the theater and the shops extend here. There's an ocean bar, there's a casino, there's an art gallery, we also have the Explorer's Lounge and the Explorations Cafe. Mm -hmm. And then we have the main dining room. Yes, they often serve lunch and dinner. On deck six, the veranda deck, we're going to have more staterooms, including the suites. Now these will most likely be out of your price range. Yeah, but they are nice to look at. They include balconies, whirlpool baths, refrigerators. They're really quite nice. But don't worry, I'm sure you'll enjoy the interior or the ocean view staterooms. Now as we continue to go up, you're going to find more and more suites, but you'll also find a lounge or two. Mm -hmm. Sure, so the top decks are going to have the most activities. The Lido deck will have the fitness center, the spa and salon. There is also going to be the pool called the Lido pool and a bar right off of it. 
You'll also find the Lido Market, which is the buffet. Mm -hmm. And then a sea view pool, which is an adult pool and bar. And last but certainly not least, the sports deck. The top deck will have a variety of fitness facilities, courts, basketball courts. Mm -hmm. You'll also find an exclusive club up here. Yes, there are so many different dining um, establishments. There's an Italian restaurant. There's a burger place called the Dive-In. The buffet is called the Lido Restaurant. And Marco Polo, which is a wonderful sit-down restaurant. Mm -hmm. Yep, I've known people who have gone there and they've really enjoyed it. In addition, you have the Pinnacle Grill, the Terrence Grill, which is near the pool, usually serves things like hot dogs, hamburgers, things like that, and then the main dining room. So you'll have plenty of options. In addition, we have a variety of entertainment on the Holland American Cruise, including the main stage theater, the cooking demonstrations, as I mentioned. There's also a casino, video arcade, and library. Yes, you can uh, get access to the internet through the website. Right. There's also numerous shops. Mm -hmm. Yes, the loft is more for um, kind of adults, kind of a hangout lounge area. I highly recommend the greenhouse spa and salon. Very relaxing. And then there's many different bars. So if you're looking for a place to get a drink, this is also where they hold a lot of different activities. Yes, and everything from bars that have alcohol to the Java bar that has coffee. The piano bar is particularly popular. Mm -hmm. There's music throughout the ship at numerous times a day. Trust me, you won't hurt for things to do. There's always activities going on. Yes, and the atrium, which is just gorgeous. A lovely place to hang out. Good, I'm glad you're liking it. Yeah, so the Holland American line is very casual, very um, relaxing. Yeah, I think you'll really like it. It's rated very well, as you can see. Mm hmm Yes, a lot of my clients have gone on Holland American Cruise Line, and they've really enjoyed it. Yes, so let's take a look at their website a little bit. This is the cruise ship that you would be going on, called Zandom. It can accommodate around 1,400 guests. it says it's very elegant and comfortable mm -hmm. cooking shows hands-on workshops mm -hmm. music throughout the day now something else that Holland America does is called Exploration Central yeah, so they can help you learn about the different ports that you will be going to mm -hmm. Yep, in addition, you'll find some more information on this website about some of the other places I mentioned, like the theater and the spa. Yes, Clubhouse for Children. Mm -hmm. And then some more information about bars, lounges, restaurants, things like that. Here are some pictures of the staterooms. This is the inside cabin. So it's, it's nice and spacious, has a really comfortable bed. As you can see, there's a couch, there's a desk. Yep, this is the configuration. And again, they can move the beds next to each other so you have a queen. And then you'll see more information as we saw before with the deck plans. Sure. Yeah, let's look a little bit more into those um, exploration centrals. So this is a great service on board. 
tell you about information about the different places that you'll be traveling. Yeah, you can get everything from um, etiquette lessons about how to interact with people of that culture. Mm -hmm. Yep, they'll have different forms of entertainment. They'll have demonstrations and talks about the history of the port. And they also sponsor different tours. Yes, it's called EXC Tours. We can book those as well if you want. There's a variety of excursions that you can take advantage of. Mm -hmm. So if we look up the South American excursions, show you just an example of the different ports of call. So as you can see, there's a variety of activities. They can take you to different um, islands, different beaches. You can visit waterfalls and take a safari. Yeah, the culinary walk is, is a must. <laughs> yes, I love food tours. You can also uh, take a tour of the opera house. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can go on different history tours. There's so many, as you can see, there's 63 pages. So I would encourage you after we book the cruise to go through these and decide what port you want to visit and what experiences you would like to have. Sure. Yeah, so I like to go to Cruise Critic. Cruise Critic will give you reviews of the different ships. So let's search. Mm -hmm. Yep, we can also search the port so you can learn a little bit more about Rio de Janeiro. So here's a picture of beautiful Rio de Janeiro. You'll find information here about it. Mm -hmm. Yes, as you can see, they have a carnival each year. They did, they had the Olympics there in 2016. Mm -hmm. Yes, you'll see different reviews of people who have traveled there. As you can see, pros, it's a short distance from museums, restaurants, nightlife. So as soon as you get off the ship, you'll be able to do that. Just be careful walking around at night. Mm -hmm. Yep, it is a large city. And as you can see, you can find even more information about this port. Make sure you have your passport with you. Mm -hmm. And you also need to have a visa if you're going to stay long term, which it sounds like you will. Okay, you've already taken care of that. Wonderful. It looks like you have everything in order. Now you'll want to get some currency for yourself if you plan on staying there for a long term. Mm -hmm. The currency is the rail. Now there's plenty to do in Rio de Janeiro. There's numerous museums and churches. Yeah, all kind of museums, history museums, art museums. Mm, there's the Sugarloaf Mountains, which are just gorgeous. Highly recommended. Yes, you can even take Samba dancing lessons. If you like to party, there's nightclubs. Mm -hmm. Yes, there's numerous taxis. It's a very walkable city. Just again, make sure you're walking during the day. Lots of different shopping locations. There's also beaches. Now, they're pretty famous for the all-you-can-eat Brazilian steakhouses called Rodijos. Yes, you've been to them before. Oh, yeah, they're quite fun. But go hungry, because they're very filling. Yes, you see there's a list of restaurants here that they recommend. It's a good site. You can do your homework here. Do you have any more questions about the port or about the cruise? You think you're ready to book? Wonderful. Okay, so I just need some information from you. So can you please give me your full name? 
Okay, and your address. Okay, your zip code. Thank you. And a phone number. Your cell would be preferable. Okay. Yes, I can also handle your flight arrangements. I can get you booked on a flight and by tomorrow. Do you think you'll be able to pack and get ready for them? What time would work best for you? Okay, around 10 a.m.? Absolutely. That will give you time to get into your first port and board the ship. Absolutely. I'll book some ground transportation. Yep. They will transfer you from the airport to the cruise port. So here's what I'll do. I'll print out your itinerary. I'll print out the pricing for you. I'll print out all the documents that you need. That way, when you go to the port, you can hand in everything and you'll be ready to go. Absolutely. I'll take care of all those details sounds like you've had a stressful year and that you're anxious to get out of here. So what I would recommend is that you go home, start packing. I will get all these materials over to you. I'll send them to you. If they look good to you, just let me know. I'll book it right away and we'll get you on that cruise for tomorrow. Does that sound good? Great. Well, here's my card. Please get in touch with me at any time. Okay. I'll talk to you soon. Bye. Hello. Hi, it's Danielle. Are you ready for your cruise tomorrow? Have you had a chance to look over the documents I sent you? Good. Well, I just want to go over a few things with you, so if you don't mind bringing up the email I sent you. Wonderful. So you'll see in the email that I laid out all of the pricing for the cruise, the flight, and the transfers. Are those prices acceptable for you? Good, good. So you'll see that I put a link in there to a little bit more information about the itinerary. Would you mind bringing that up for me? I can walk you through it. Great. So as you can see, you're set to depart tomorrow, October 18th. It's a 16-night cruise leaving from San Antonio, Chile. Mm -hmm. And the last port is Rio de Janeiro. If you scroll down, you'll see more information about the itinerary. Do you see where it says day one? Okay, perfect. So as you can see, day one, you're leaving from San Antonio at around four o'clock. The next day, you're gonna be at sea, so it's a travel day. There'll be plenty of activities for you to do on the ship that day. Day three is a port day at Porto Mont. It arrives around 8 a.m. and it stays for the majority of the day. And you can see that they've given you some sample shore excursions. If you want to book any of those, you can do so right on the ship. In the atrium area, you should see the booking table where they can lay out all the different excursion options. Now day four, it stops in the forts. Day five, it travels through the canal. 
day six, it goes through the Strait of Magellan and it stops in Chile. It stops pretty early on day six, around 6 a.m. Day six and seven, you will also be stopping through some different channels, glaciers, and port towns. Day eight is a cruise day. Day nine, you will be stopping in a place called Stanley. Day 10 and 11 are both sea days, and day 12 is another port day. In Buenos Aires, you'll be there for the majority of the day. Day 14 is an additional port. You will then have two more days at sea. And finally, on November 3rd, you will arrive in Rio de Janeiro. Any questions about the itinerary? No? Okay. So if you close that and open up the second document that I sent you, you will see your ticket for the airline. So it's American Airlines leaving at 10 a.m. tomorrow morning from New York LaGuardia to San Antonio, Chile. It travels all day until about 3 p.m. San Antonio time. Yes, and the transfer will take about 30 minutes, so you're set to arrive to the cruise port at around 3.30 p.m. Now they ask everyone to get there by 4. Um, the cruise actually does not take off till 5, so you should have plenty of time. Okay, and is the seat acceptable for you? It's an aisle seat. Great. Yes, you do get a meal and you also get a snack on the board since it's a longer flight. Great. The last document is your boarding pass for the cruise. This just tells you to arrive at 3.30, the departure, 5 p.m. It tells you what platform to go to. So this is a pretty busy port, so you're going to see multiple platforms of different cruise lines. So you're going to go to platform C. Mm -hmm. So just ask the driver to drop you off at platform C. Yes, and then as soon as you go into platform C, you'll see the different lines forming. You'll walk through security. You'll give them your documents. Mm -hmm. You'll show them your passport. So again, make sure you bring your passport with you. Have it handy along with your boarding pass. And then once you go through security and you get on the ship, you'll be able to enjoy the cruise. Any questions for me? Anything at all? Okay, so are you happy for me to continue and to confirm this for you? Wonderful. I'm gonna purchase this now. Okay, everything is set for you tomorrow. So again, just wake up tomorrow morning, go to LaGuardia, get on the flight. If you have any problems at all, any time during your travel, please give me a call, okay, and I can help you. And this really is anything. You're delayed, you have questions about the cruise, please don't hesitate to contact me. Okay, well, again, I wish you the best of luck. I hope you have a wonderful trip. And I hope Rio de Janeiro is everything you could have hoped for. Best of luck. Bye-bye.